Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we're in Italy, Milan, and as usual, we're very hungry. You want overseas videos a lot, and as per your request, I go to the big cities and metropolises of Europe. We've done a few places so far, and today we're gonna devour all the street foods of Milan. We'll go to the most beautiful and most popular places. Of course, I have John with me. We'll act according to John's list. Milan is a city like Paris, London, New York, a metropolis, a place where everything coexists. It has flavors from all the cities. Milan has a variety of flavors from every region region of Italy, from Naples to Rome to Florence. That's why I chose this place. Guys, before we start, you know how hard I work on these videos, so I'll be glad if you could subscribe to the channel for support. If you like the video, hit the like button below. So let's start All eating. Right, let's get going. Ready? How hungry are you? I'm really hungry right now. I'm so My hungry. My blood sugar's really low. You can't imagine. We had a hard time restraining You know, you really it. hyped up this sandwich place, man. Yeah, I did. So we just had to come. We can't find a taxi in this rain. <laughs> we had to walk. But here we are. This place is normally in Florence. The original ah. was there. Now it's here, too. They opened a few more. It's an incredible place. Sometimes it has hundreds of meters of cubes. Hello. Hello. To La Paradisa with uh, Parmesan cream. This is a pretty small place you got. Hello, my friend. a very small, tiny place. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? Mom, you want one? No, I'm not going to eat. Okay. Are you YouTubers? Yes. He's a famous YouTuber in Turkey. I can see by the microphone and camera. Yeah. <laughs> What's your YouTube name? Tuna. Tuna Tavus. Let me write it. My concept is more like eating and lifting. Oh, I love eating. Can I take a picture? Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. That's take nice. care. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, Good too. Good to see you. Have a nice day. <laughs> it's like half a kilo, right? One of these is half a kilo, I'll say. Here we have a bill of 25 euros, guys. This sandwich for 25 euros. Two sandwiches. And two of them, they're gonna be crazy big. I don't know if it's obvious, since tuna's half is so big. <laughs> it looks small, but each one is half it's a kilo. It's absolutely huge. It is. Now, mm. I want to tell you about the cheese inside of this, because this cheese is famous. Stracciatella, the creamiest, greasiest Bro, part. the combination of pistachios and cheese You're is right. amazing. And there's a paste inside of it. This is pistachio paste, and there's stracciatella. That's why mm. it has a taste that flows. You know, it lives up to the hype. It's really good. It's pretty satisfying. It's a huge sandwich. It's amazing. You know, I think we always use pistachio in Turkey for dessert. It yeah. goes well with salt. We don't really use pistachio. Yeah, it's too expensive. Too expensive. <laughs> Close to the price of gold. Take a look at this. He put his photo on the water bottle. Check it like out. Nusret. The owner's like, Nusret. Really? <laughs> I guess the secret's the mustache. The one with the mustache <laughs> wins. Oh. I'm telling you, the only thing I don't like about street food when we're eating abroad... There's no place to sit, right? Is that there's actually no place to <laughs> sit. And I can't eat standing up. I'm having a hard time. It's really big. By the way, we asked for extra Parmesan cream, so it is more expensive. This is normally 11 euros. This huge thing is 11, a good price. I'm feeling good now. I know. I'm it's... done with the sandwiches. Generally, when you think of Italy, pizza and pasta come to mind, okay? Of course they exist, but besides them, there are also other good flavors, unknown more so in the background, especially in this sandwich. It's like an authentic street food of Italy. Huh. Italy means cheese, it means olive oil, it means bread. That's why the combination is so good. The prices at famous places with long queues are always mm -hmm. reasonable. Mm -hmm. Not exorbitant at all. People can come, they can eat, mm. and that's why maybe the queues are a bit longer. Sure, both good and cheap. Oh, I was so hungry, it felt so good. I was hungry too, it was good. I liked it. I nice. really liked it, man, I liked it a lot. It was you good. go ahead and finish that sandwich, there's not much left. And then we can move on to the next place, guys. What an endless queue. We've been waiting in line for Such hours. Such a long queue in the rain. It really shocks yeah, you. Yeah, bro. This is Panzerati. I've seen it. We have it in Turkey. We do have it But there, what exactly yeah. is the original here? The original is actually a closed pizza, but it is fried okay. and tiny. 
Oh. There's something called calzone, like that, but Panzerati is small. You know, I'm curious about the price. One piece is two to three euros. It's small. A person eats one, or you can eat a salty one and a sweet okay. one. Okay, they also have sweet ones. Yeah, okay. they have sweet ones. Let's eat the salty Hello. ones, then we'll see. Hi. One of everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't give the vegetarian one. Yeah, we're all allergic to vegetarian <laughs> ones. <laughs> is that all? Yeah, that's pretty much all. One more this of one? this and okay. one of that, please. Yeah. Sure thing. Where are you from, sir? We're from Turkey. Oh, really? Yes. It's a good place. <laughs> Beautiful country. Where are you from? You don't look Italian. <laughs> yes, I'm from Sri Lanka. We love Sri Lanka. <laughs> Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Where do we go and eat? We can eat here somewhere. Panzerati. We have a bill of 20 euros and 90 cents. I think we got seven of them. We got seven? We bought seven. Yeah, let's devour let's them. Let's the go. price is cheap, by the it's way. It's good. Oh, bro. This is fried dough our moms do. It's like pizza and fried exactly. dough. Exactly. Great, isn't it? Very. This place is, as I heard, Galleria Vittorio Emanuel, which was the first Prada. It's like an old shopping mall. Oh. It's an enclosed space. Amazing building. Look, this is one of the classics. Tomato and cheese. It has mozzarella and tomatoes in it. <laughs> <laughs> We stood like oxen in the middle of the road for this stuff. There are many nice restaurants here. Like making a statement. <laughs> These restaurants are crazy expensive. And here we're eating at Panzerati in front of all of them. Like Orkun doing a Mongol in front of Nusrat. <laughs> Just like him, there are Michelin star <laughs> restaurants here. It's like a fried dough Yo, bro. bomb. This is the mm. cheese one. Just with cheese. By the way, you can eat 15 to 20. But don't do it. We've well, got, got a long way more to, place go. to go. You can't eat one, can you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is looking at us. One pan's Roddy, one bite. This is an extreme move, by the way. I never expected it to happen. Whoa. Two margaritas, one spontini, cotto, one double mozzarella. Tuna is so loud. Everyone is looking one at us. One primavera, two waters, please, and that's all. We'll tell you about it in a moment, but one of these pizzas is thick and also really big. You know, one person can But only first, eat let me one. say this. Whoever I told I'm coming to Milan, they said to go to Spontini. We're here. It's the most famous pizzeria here. And look, we also have a bill of 46 euros and 40 cents. It's expensive, bro. Yeah, it's sad. But look at the size of it, Tuna. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you are can see. Are these ours, by the way? These are ours, yeah. Can I take a photo? Yes, of course, of course. Take care. Take care. <laughs> Are you ready? I tell you what, we thought we came to eat a slice. It's not a slice, bro. This is about as much pizza as the pizza in a regular pizza place. Because That's true. it's too thick. It would be wrong to think of it as a gastronomic thing. This is not like a mm. wonderful thing, like something you don't eat in your life. This is like a wet burger in here. It's like when we eat a wet burger at Kazilkalar. Just like that. This place has been here since 1950. Oh. You bought one, you ate it, you met your need for fast food but and we, kept going. We didn't get Unfortunately, one, Unfortunately, we didn't get one. Oh. This is Milanese pizza. Mm -hmm. The one I told you with a lot of cheese? This is Primavera. It means autumn in Spanish. Is that so? Yeah. Those who know the tuna studied Spanish literature are writing in the comments right now. Well, it could be spring. <laughs> I think it's spring, by the way. <laughs> And obviously it doesn't taste different. It tastes very ordinary. Exactly. I can be objective. Not everything I eat here has to suit my tastes. But it's good. I mean, it's good. You gotta be careful, because if you eat the burned ones, you're gonna get colon cancer. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, though. One of these is one whole pizza. I swear it is. Come on, let's not take too long. We'll go to more beautiful places than this. Let's move on. Okay, okay, okay. Then we'll finish this, and then we'll move on to the next place, guys. I can't talk right now.
Guys, we've come to Belle Belay, and this is a diner over here. You could call this place like a neighborhood restaurant. Like, the recipes are used from generation to generation. The place with the most original version of those. Now, guys, we've had a little bit of an adventure here. We came here for some risotto, because the Italian dish, the Milano dish, risotto is risotto. Risotto Milanese. Risotto with saffron is their famous dish. It's the most important dish. Yeah. We came here to eat it. But for lunch, they don't serve risotto. Anyway, we showed our YouTube channel. We said we need to make a video here. We said we come from very far away. And the waiter spoke to the owner of the place. That's why they're currently preparing three risottos. And little olive oil. Put a little balsamic vinegar in it. It's very good olive oil. This is 100% Italian, by the way. Here's the flag of Italy. It says 100% Italian. We ate a plate of oil, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna put that away now. You ate too yeah. much. Oh! Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. Very good. My very friend. Very good. My yeah. friend. Thank you very okay. much. Later. Thank you. <laughs> Can we have some Parmesan? Let's get a kilo of Parmesan, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> it would be barely enough. Yeah, barely. But would you take a look at this first, to the beauty of it? Saffron gives this color. Italy means risotto, I think. Since the 1500s, it's a very old dish. Let me tell you a story. According to one story, this Milanese was found in the 1800s, getting color from saffron while painting the Duomo Cathedral. Is that the so? The remaining saffron was supposedly put in the risotto, and they found this. Nice story. Mm. Risotto is usually made from arborio rice. It's different from our rice. This is a more binding meal, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? With that sauce, a long and hard meal to make. Our rice is special, by yeah. the way. But that's also special because it's like they put a sauce of a meal on top of the rice at a diner, you know? Okay. That's why I like that's it. That's right, okay. yeah. Okay, I'll get some Parmesan, bro. You don't give me the Parmesan. <laughs> you keep the Parmesan. <laughs> it has a different taste with Parmesan. Doesn't it? I like it a lot. A lot, yeah. And I had a risotto, but not like this one. This is so beautiful. I'm eating a risotto like this for the first time in my life. If you come to Italy, try it out. I can't say another one, no. Because there isn't. <laughs> I eat slowly because I don't want to finish. I don't want this to end. We can stop. You can eat if you want, Mom. This is pretty nice, yeah. Isn't it? It's so good. And now the place is closed. Yeah, it closes at noon. But oh, they'll open it up it again later. in the evening again. Yeah, yeah. Most oh. of them are like that. Son, leave those glasses and give us the bill. Can you help me with the check, please? <laughs> <laughs> Just two seconds. There's a bit of a problem the here. The dude's arranging the glasses there. We forced them to take our money, yeah, though. Yeah, it's true. I swear to God. I think she's swearing at us. <laughs> maybe, maybe. She's swearing while passing us. She hates us now. And I hate this guy now. Glass guy. Bro, bloody hell, you know? We had three risottos. Okay, okay. let me take a look at this first. Sister, open it up later. One let minute. Dude, I'm getting so angry. <laughs> this. Julie, they're making fun of us. Five hours later. And here we have a bill for 60 euros. They gave us a five euro and 45 cent discount. Yes. It's around 200 Turkish lira. Something like that. Honestly, God bless, guys. I don't understand why they, they did it. They don't have risotto at noontime, though. Yeah. I guess they realized it was something special, so they made a discount Could for be. us. Could be. It's like they didn't yeah. get the fraction. The lunch menu, by the way, was cheap. There are meals for 10 to 15. This was probably from the dinner menu yes, because yes. it was expensive. But it was really nice. Very nice. We liked Not it a lot. Not having risotto here would be such exactly. a shame. Let's get going to the next place. It's great out here. They're having it's a crazy, blast. crazy. Is 
Is this going on YouTube? Yes, yes, YouTube. Okay, follow him on YouTube. He is the best. Follow him on YouTube. <laughs> How many subscribers do you have? Nearly two million. Nearly two, two million? million? Yes. How? Woo! <laughs> Get him to five million. That's not enough. I want him to reach five million tomorrow. Ten million, boy. Come 20 on. Twenty million. million. Tomorrow. One hundred million. Mr. Beast. Come on. Yeah, that's million. Like Mr. Beast. It. We laughed. We had some fun. They flocked like that. When they see the camera, the camera yeah. is something else. When they see Tuna, he is also something they else. They touched me and asked, what yeah. kind of sports do you do? <laughs> I should ask, do you perform ablution? <laughs> they came like <laughs> missiles all at once. <laughs> By the way, guys, we've come to Central. This is the biggest train station. It's a huge exactly. building. Exactly, Lano Central, where everything connects, where all the trains flow. You're going to Como, you're going to Venice, it's from here. There's an ice cream parlor there, so let's get okay, going. let's go then. This ice cream shop is yeah. also famous, by the way. We'll go in right there. There is one with hazelnut. I love it. It's my favorite. And the pistachio one. It's we'll so good. We'll take them all. I'll buy two okay. cornets. <laughs> <laughs> Get two, though. Okay, okay. I'll take two. What can I do? What can I my do? My blood sugar's down. You walked a little. True, you that's moved. why. Tell me, Tuna, do you like Of fruit? course we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Me and my stomach, we like it. Four grande with chocolate. Four? Grande. Yeah, four. But put chocolate inside as well. You really shouldn't pay that much for ice cream, man. The biggest one. Do you know how big? You'll I be shocked. I guess this is for limitless. As much as it takes, am I right? He puts as I'll much as it you takes. This. You know, they're not counting scoops over here. Yeah, you as choose much the as flavor. It fits. I love when she covers it with chocolate and then dips it in nuts. She also pours chocolate in it. More it calories, is more calories. It's amazing. It looks so small. But that's the way it is. <laughs> How much more can they fill? It won't be enough. In the meantime, our ice creams are on the way. We paid a total of 32 euros and 60 cents. Or the largest extra chocolate and two water. Huh? What's the second one? Same, same. Um, How about we try to add the pistachio? Put some more, put some more, come on. <laughs> He's a big guy, he needs some more. Can I ask you a favor? Can yes. you scan the QR code and rate us? Oh, okay, afterwards. First we'll eat and then we'll come okay. back. Okay. You've hyped it up so much, I'm diving in. There's nothing salty, it's... Mm. I was gonna say, I can't imagine that I'm gonna eat something so sweet. Mm. I may look small in Tuna's hands, but there is a lot in here. Maybe it's a chain ice cream parlor. You can find it in other countries, but I think it's really good. How can you eat like that? How is that possible? How fast is that? <laughs> How does your mouth not get cold? Oh, brain freeze. Oh. Mmm. Gelato is an amazing thing. Two bears thing. standing in the middle of the station eating ice cream like animals. People are running to catch ice the train. Ice cream dripping from our beards. <laughs> the outside's amazing. You can find it at the airport, eating one last time and going back. It's nice. You're eating slow. <laughs> My mouth is so cold. My teeth froze. Ah. How could you be so fast? I'm not kidding. What the hell? How could it be? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. How could that happen? I ate the ice cream pretty fast. Well, we noticed By that. By biting. Oh, should I get another one? That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so textured. I don't so understand crunchy. anything you're saying. My brain is burned. You keep eating that. We ate dessert, and my blood sugars instantly fair enough, went fair up. Enough. <laughs> then dropped. That's why I'm hungry now. Let's go eat something. Let's go eat. It's raining like crazy outside, so we ran away from the rain and took refuge in here. Yeah, for a while. It was already a place on our list. But uh, how about we get dry here and have a coffee, just like the Italians do? And when the camera turned on, I became a nice person instantly. <laughs> but... Uh, he was just terrorizing. Look, the rain. <laughs> we eat standing up all the time. Well, we, I don't like to stand up tore eating. me apart, Tuna. Anyway, look, this is the resting place right exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> when you want to get a coffee in Italy, 
Get an espresso. That's exactly it. Espresso. It's like the tea culture of Turkey, ah. you know? It's a local thing. Espresso, as I said, is Italy. This is a nice place in Kova. It was founded in 1817. Just think 1817. about it. 1817? It's a 200 plus year old place, wow. you know? This is where Italians come and buy coffee here, and there is a coffee bar over there. The machine makes coffee there. They make a shot and they okay, move on. Okay, forget about everything. Even this fork. I'll take this home, by the way, bro. <laughs> From the style of that fork and knife, you can see that the bill is going to be huge, my friends. But let me tell you something. It's half the price when you come here for coffee and go. So ah. the guy says, if you're coming for a drink and go, pay half. Look, just don't tell this me to is... stand up. Please, <laughs> just don't tell me to stand up. Coffee is expensive here. Five euros when you sit down, but the guy offers you service. You sit on comfortable seats. 2.5 if you buy it there. In this place with the chandeliers and a 200-year-old shop, it's okay. Look, I'm gonna take that chandelier, okay? If I can take it. <laughs> I'll definitely get that fork when I leave, though. <laughs> Put it in your pocket already. Does Espresso have a city of origin? I mean, does it have a specific city? You get a cut in here, bro. Teacher, if you're unsure, you can simply say you don't know. <laughs> Here it is. Wow, now, what I've is this? I've got a surprise for you. I really didn't know that. <laughs> Panettone. Panettone. This is a cake that Italians eat with coffee, like this. All right. They actually do it at Christmas, but they always do it here. Now I'll briefly summarize Dude, what it is all about. Dude, is this supposed to be our coffee? That's our I coffee, I thought this was yeah. someone's empty cup. Why is there so little <laughs> coffee in this thing? Now this is how real espresso is. This is how <laughs> it is served, and it is small. They drink single servings of it. And this has quite a robust a profound flavor. taste, exactly that, a robust taste. It's pretty robust. Look, common folks in suits, professionals in suits, and I was in shorts. They told me <laughs> to wear pants here in Milano. Tuna wore pants today One for us. One thing, they may not take us in here with shorts on. Oh, well, that's right. They would not. Yeah, look at that chandelier. It says you can't get in without shorts. <laughs> <laughs> the two people in Turkey who wear shorts the most. Really me and true, you. by the way. For Italians, this is a festive cake, but it's also like bread. Just like bread. It means panettone, like pandetoni. That's where the name comes from. <laughs> the man who found this for the king is Tony, Mr. Tony's Bread. It means Tony's bread in Italian. A good doer of Italians. An awesome cake that makes everyone happy when you bring it as a gift. Uh, so between cake this and This guy bread, made a big show. And let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> it's the same cake they brought on the bus. I swear, the same cake. I swear, I'm not exaggerating. Look, it's the same with the grapes. Don't be upset on the bus. You're actually eating panettone, guys. <laughs> it's similar, by the way. <laughs> Look at the beauty of that glass. This place? Yeah. Oh, this place. Yeah, this place, here. Oh, I love this chocolate, though. It's good, isn't it? We love sweets. Too One day we me. came home. I was staying at John's and I came for the shoot. He piled up a bunch of junk food on the table, okay, from the bag. He covered the table with <laughs> junk food from the bag. He said, I bought it for you. You can eat at night. I said, okay, brother, thank you. I went to bed. I woke up. There was none. The packages <laughs> were in the trash. And he ate all of it. <laughs> the reason it's yellow inside is saffron. that it's got saffron. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, we're learning. Estrafarula. Coffee's dangerous, though. You can drink a lot of it. It's small, but if you drink Seriously. 10, it could lead to True. a heart attack. Excuse me, one espresso, one macchiato. Okay. As a change, of course. <laughs> I ordered the other one as well. <laughs> you did well. Could you take a look at this bill? Look, we have a bill of 37 euros. <laughs> but it seems so wrong. Espresso, 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 wrong. espresso. It's like someone printed it wrong. <laughs> Our stomach's right now, though. Just like this. It's like a sinkhole. I haven't seen someone who eats like that. I'm not saying it to praise myself. I've never seen a YouTuber eat this of much course, food before. Of course, this is different, because in other videos, they have three places, four places, and they eat little. We have 10 places. Catastrophe in a but row. we're hungry, bro. Right, I that's mean, we thing. love it. <laughs> not everyone can handle all of this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Gucci-sponsored tram over there. So even the municipality probably works with these luxury brands. This is the first time I've seen it. Hello. One margarita for me. I bought a Napoli pizza for nine euros. We went to the original Neapolitan Pizzeria in the Dumball video, the Golden Dumball Challenge video. You can watch it if you haven't. That pizza guy was also crazy. You can't shoot a Milano video without the Neapolitan pizza. We need a proper pizza in the video. Spontini was nice, but it served slices like fast food. This is a proper pizza place.
Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, we are. He's a YouTuber. Your name? Tuna Tavus. Tuna. Can you give me your channel? Yes, of course. You can become famous in Turkey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. You're welcome. We got our pizza. Now we'll put it on a table and you need Aren't a few more things. Are we something? Shall I get two arancinis? Let's eat the arancini. You no, know, we haven't eaten the arancini yeah, yet. Yeah, let's eat the arancini. By the way, the beauty of the place, the lights, Sister Cheda has kindly reserved a place for us because it is a busy place. Unlike the Barcelona Mercat, it's not scattered, straight, like a hallway. Exactly, in the form of a corridor. The dessert is Italian, should we take it? One of those, please. What's the name of this? This is maritosi. Maritosi. Mm -hmm. Maritosi. Yeah, there are different types of it. Oh, okay. Can we have one of the classics, please? Ooh. Look at the dude's hand. There's pizza, dessert. He's going to get arancini. I can't believe he's doing that. <laughs> arancini was there. Come on. If that's not enough, we'll have more. I can't eat that. How can you still eat sweets after having all that ice cream? What are these? No, no, skip these. They're not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, I found the arancini. Hello. Hello. Can I help you, my friend? One arancini for me, please. Which? Which one is the best? Oh, two, please. Okay. Would you like to try dessert with it? Dessert? What kind of dessert? No more sweets, no. No, 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 no. No, no, thank you. By the way, we forgot to mention something. Two arancini is 10 euros, five euros each. And I just gave four and a half for the dessert. Oh, okay. Man, desserts are expensive. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, thank you. Lightweight baby. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Ronnie Coleman, huh? You know, huh? <laughs> King. <laughs> Tuna, put those down and come. I'm gonna get something else. I'm coming now. What are you having, John? We added this here. What is that, by the way? That's the pizza with the breadcrumbs. Is that really pizza? The ravioli looks so good, bro. You know, by the way, it must have cost us a lot. Yeah, this and bao cost 17. 17 plus 450, what, 2150? This is nine, 30.5. 10 euro. Four and a half, that's nine, adds up to 50. So this makes 1700 Turkish lira or so. Neapolitan pizza, I'm saying again, I mentioned it in my dumbbell video. Be sure to watch the dumbbell video, the pizza part especially. We went to a very good pizzeria. You know, I like this place more than the one in Barcelona. Are you serious? Why? Because there's room to sit. Exactly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. In Italy, we are dough inside out. And ravioli's the big version of our dumpling. Every culture has its own ravioli. The Uzbek has ravioli, the Turk has ravioli, the Far East has its dumpling, and that's that. As a result, humanity likes to put things into dough. A lot. What is arancini? They put things in the risotto, they squeeze it, and then the fry it. The fast version of the risotto. Yeah, okay. okay. That has saffron in it. Mm -hmm. So, what's that for over there? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even shoot how I got it even. I took it randomly. But I like that one too. Sweet and salty. Isn't it? It's getting dark out. It got dark while we're eating. You know, I like this one the most. Why? Why would you say it's that? It's really good. It that did Napoli taste good. That pizza was good too. Amazing meal for nine euros, am I right? Oh, I feel so terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. Eat it, I can't eat it anymore. Look at that, it has cream in it, guys. The interior's creamy. I ate one this morning, by the way. You know, he just told me that he ate one. When did you eat it? I don't understand. Before the video, he said Sister Chato was laughing. <laughs> I said, how could it be? Eating one in the morning before shooting a video like it's this? It's really good though. He saw one in a cafe and ate it randomly. It's got whipped cream. Let's go. That is enough for well, now. Well then. Let's walk a little. Let's open up. After and that, then? we have a dinner reservation in one hour. So All right. let's get moving. 
Guys, we're here at Da Oscar. This is a classic Italian restaurant, isn't it? In fact, it was initially a very shabby restaurant, and now it's very popular. And there is always a queue, but uh... It's a really cool place. You can exactly. get in without a reservation. You probably won't notice since we're currently clearing up all this noise. It's extremely noisy. Everyone is shouting, you know? Everyone is screaming, small, but packed to capacity. Yeah, yeah, really. You're waiting even when you have a and reservation. we don't have a fancy menu either. They made menus out of these A4 papers. <laughs> it's such a shabby place. <laughs> it's a simple place. We're listening, place. Master. The main goal of coming here is to eat Cataletta a la Milanese. So it's a Milanese dish. It really is a dish found in Milan. A dish like a schnitzel is made from what meat, was it? you see. Cataletta a la Milanese. Maybe we can add one or two more dishes right next to it's it. It's not Italian. It's a Milanese dish, this I guess. This is a Milanese dish. Hmm. Milano food. One Cataletta a la Milanese. One of this mushroom meat, please. One carbonara, one big bottle of water. We usually eat one or two meals everywhere, but we added one more since Tuna asked. We're hungry, bro. I am hungry. If I don't stop him, it will never end. There's some musicians here tonight. I told you. Ah. Now they've come. They're right behind us. Let's tip. Ask for Bella Chow. They would play. Really? Hello? You give five on, they'll play anything. Play Bella Chow. Play Bella Chow. It's a fascist song. Is that the one? Can you play Felicita? Felicida, Felicida, Felicida. You know, it's really noisy, by the way. Yeah, this place is a shit show right now. <laughs> people shouting, uncles making music over there. This is a ridiculous environment. It's all the people who scream. We're the loudest, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's this? Grassini. I will call this Italian. They'll wipe me out. But the birthplace of this is Italy. Oh, okay. Can you get it all in one go? As if we are Kermachan and cement? It's here. It's here. Thank you. Well, enjoy it. Can we have some Parmesan? Of course. Since we're already here, we must eat pasta in a restaurant like this. Cotoletta de Milanese. That's why we ordered it. Now, thanks to Mr. Timuchin, he made us a nice suggestion. That's why we ordered this steak with mushrooms. It's a tenderloin. Tenderloin? Yeah. It's also had a name. This is an Italian yes, food, a too. Yes, tenderloin. Yes, that's what it there is. It was something like exactly. that. Exactly. Many greetings to Brother Timuchin. <laughs> Let's take it like that. Knife or something? <laughs> Let's comment on the taste, bro. Let's do it. It's great. It's like a crispy pane, Milanese version of chicken schnitzel. It can also be nice with Parmesan. Look, Parmesan, expensive cheese. We need to get our money's worth. Wow. If Timuchin says so, he knows something. Absolutely. There's no doubt, he is one of the three people in the world whose taste I trust most. Very nice with Parmesan. It's really good. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when you say pasta, Italy's the best. Exactly, you're 100% correct. By the correct. way, this carbonara is a football player's favorite dish. We did a video on favorite meals of football players, and I don't remember who now, actually. I ate so much that day. I don't remember. If you remember, please write in the comments. This is my favorite. I love it. Oh, that's beautiful. Can we have uh, one more of that, please? Steak with mushrooms. Parmesan, it's important. I've never seen such an endless Parmesan in my life. We've eaten a whole bowl we got of two Parmesan. two kilos of Parmesan, and it we never ate ends, it all. brother. I'm not sure if I can eat meat. I ate too much. Come on, Relax, come on, John. <laughs> you could be the only person who could join me at the table to share food and survive, bro. That's what you say. I don't know. Sounds right. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Bro, this can't be right. It's just too nonsensical. <laughs> Jada's looking behind the camera. <laughs> just wait a second, like, I'll show you. <laughs> we had two bottles of soda. What I don't understand the most, while eating so much food, how do you consume so much liquid, bro? I don't now understand my heart's that. Burning. I can eat a lot, but I can't drink. This guy, Can I have oh, one more, please? One more? Yes. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, 
Look at that steam. By the way, hot or cold don't matter for Tuna's mouth. Ice cream, for example, he can eat right away. Look at that. Thank you, man. No problem. Just enjoy the food. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. I didn't order that. I was eating meat, and the boy asked, do you want to try lasagna? He saw the camera and did a nice gesture. Lasagna is the heart of the Italian people. It's from people. a place very close to Milano, from Bologna. From Bologna, right. It is famous there. Yeah, the bolognese, bolognese sauce. Bolognese sauce comes That's from right. Bologna. That's already in it, like bolognese sauce yeah. from there. It has a nice consistency, though. I'm dying, Tuna. I ate so much. You ate a lot, by the way. We ate it. Bring that, too. <laughs> That's enough. Please, let's go. Uh, I'll eat the steak. Okay, eat that too. I can't eat it anymore. Let's go. Oh! Tiramisu. Oh. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, man. A picture? Yeah. Yes, of course. Tiramisu. This is Rome's famous dessert, but after all, Italian food. Then I'll tell you something about tiramisu, a special story you can't hear anywhere while Tuna's eating. It's very nice, yeah. Italian mothers have discovered this sweet treat while pondering what to pack for their children as they head off to school. In a box. By the way, it's not something I found out now. It's a story I've known for years. Coffee in the box, cat tongue cookies, uh, you know, the uh -huh. ones with the rough edges. Mascarpone cheese, after that. They're turning these into a slurry and mixing them up. Hmm. Tiramisu is actually a slurry, and tiramisu is old Italian. Tiramisu. Exactly. Just it all like mixes that, yeah? like a slurry. That's where the name comes from, you know? <laughs> I'll just give it to you now. This could have been the subject of a different video. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> We're paying 136 euros. The food was really good. Very good. Thank you. Enjoy the evening. Send my regards to Maria. The owner of this place is now at a Kanye West concert in Milano. Really? You see? Is there a Kanye concert yeah, in Milano? Yeah. Oh. We're all good. It's a all great good. place. We're leaving here very What happy. an incredible place. It really is. We're stuffed to the brim. Then let's move on to the next place. Let, let's not. Let's just go home. We tried more than 10 places. What else are we going to eat? What are we going to do? We're now at the end of this video, guys. We ate the whole of Milano. We ate the best street foods in Milano. I've simply run out of things to say. <laughs> Let's put it that way. After what we've been through, I hope you enjoy the video. Brother, I really enjoyed it. Guys, if one day you come to Milano, definitely try all of these places. We really had a lot of places fun making try, that video. Indeed. There are different kinds of restaurants. Some for coffee, a quick bite, and there's also dessert. Friends, I want to thank everyone who's watched this video up to this point. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it. You can subscribe to my channel to support me. I put a lot of effort into these videos, as you know. And take care of yourselves, and see you in the next video.